we identified 38.3 billion with a B dollars of corporate welfare since 2017. I mean, Trudeau was handing out corporate welfare like it was candy on Halloween. This is the Canadian Taxpayers Federation podcast, where we're dedicated to lower taxes, less waste, and more accountable government. I'm Chris Sims. I'm the Alberta Director for the CTF, and I'm here with my friend and colleague, Carson Binda. Carson, he's our British Columbia Director for the CTF. Now, the Trudeau government recently agreed to the most expensive corporate welfare deal in Canadian history, and we actually have some more details about it. Uh, Carson, tell us more about it. Yeah, so right off the bat, Chris, the numbers we are looking at, in this case of corporate welfare, are crazy. They blew my socks right off. Volkswagen, the German car manufacturer, is getting about $4.3 million per job they're creating in this new plant in Ontario. Just to give you and our viewers here an idea of how much real money that is, um, the total of $13 billion could build 15 brand new hospitals anywhere in Canada or cover the entire personal income tax bill of about 67,000 Canadians making 75 grand a year. So these are just absolutely huge numbers. And if you look at the annual figure, it's still still gigantic. The amount of money that taxpayers are giving to Volkswagen each year of the next decade is worth more than the entire budget of New Brunswick. So we're giving more money to a German car manufacturer than an entire province is spending every single year. We're taking an average of $1.3 billion per year. The project's proponents say that $1.3 billion per year is going to create 3,000 jobs, which means taxpayers, if you divide it out there, are going to be on the hook for $4.3 million for every single job created. Look, if we just wanted to give money out, we could have given 3,000 people a million dollars each and still saved billions. Oh. That's how bad this deal is for Canadian taxpayers. Oh my gosh. Like, I think I'm glad you broke it all down like that with those numbers, because the numbers themselves are really unbelievable when it comes to this deal for corporate welfare. Now, uh, sorry to be a bearer of bad news, but these things have a bad habit of setting a precedent, right? Like this might not be the last we see of a multi-billion dollar corporate welfare deal. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. It's like feeding raccoons. Yeah. <laughs> if you feed one raccoon, the, all the raccoons from the neighborhood are going to show up at your door asking for more handouts. That's exactly what the Trudeau government's doing by offering these fat, fat subsidies. All the other corporations want a slice of the same cake that Volkswagen is feasting on. We've already seen that with Stellantis. Stellantis is another one of these really big international automotive companies. Uh, they own the Chrysler brand, Maserati, Fiat, all these big name cars. Well, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Ontario Premier Doug Ford, they're two peas in a pod on this. Mm -hmm. They've already announced a billion dollars for Stellantis. The London Free Press said the company is set to pull the plug on electric vehicle plant unless it gets this money from taxpayers. So, you know, I hope our viewers see what's happening here. The Fed's announced $13 billion for Volkswagen. Uh, now Stellantis is ramping up the pressure to take your tax dollars too. And look, if Stellantis su succeeds at this, just like Volkswagen did, you know, I think there's a pretty good bet that other companies are going to be lining up at the trough to get their share of corporate welfare from tapped out Canadian taxpayers too. Yeah, it's a bad move because it's just ringing a dinner bell and they're all going to come running. Now, is there any political, I know we oppose it, we oppose corporate welfare. We have forever. Or is there any political opposition to this? Yeah. No, there's slim to none, unfortunately, Chris. So taxpayers, we need to pick up the pressure and pull that slack that the politicians have dropped. So the Conservatives have asked that the parliamentary budget officer look at the Volkswagen deal. 
but that's not substantial. And they haven't said much other than that. Here's what Pierre Polyev told us, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, when he was running for leader. Let's talk about the economy. There's, yeah. uh, there's a good way to grow the economy. There's a bad way to grow the economy. The bad way is corporate welfare, bureaucrats picking winners and losers. The CTF has identified about $18 billion of corporate welfare announcements since 2017. Would you outlaw corporate welfare? I will uh, cut corporate welfare and use the money to lower taxes for small businesses. Here, folks, he said that he would cut corporate welfare and use the money to lower taxes for small businesses if he's elected prime minister. Well, if that's the case, if that's what Pierre really believes, mm. then he needs to speak out against potentially the largest corporate welfare deal that Canadians have ever seen. This is the biggest corporate welfare in our history. Jagmeet Singh, he says that corporate greed is out of our control. Now, if Singh really opposes corporate greed, he needs to oppose corporate greed that gives big multinational companies billions of dollars from taxpayers who can't afford to heat their homes or drive to school. Um, he needs to oppose corporate welfare for Volkswagen, and he needs to oppose this new corporate welfare for Stellantis, if he yeah. actually cares about the little guy. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, and this is it, folks. Keep in mind, this is not magic money that comes from the government that, you know, they're helping whatever industry they may like to help. This is your money. This is taxpayers money. And if you're having trouble listening to this, making ends meet because of carbon taxes, inflation, deficit spending, et cetera, keep this in mind. Next time you see a big fat paycheck being handed to a big fat corporation. Now, unfortunately, this is not the only example or the first example of corporate welfare when it comes to these big handouts to these corporations. The Trudeau government, as of late, has been partnering with the Ford government in Ontario on a lot of big corporate handouts uh, to car companies that are looking to build electric car battery plants. Give us some more details on those handouts. Yeah, absolutely. So way back in 2020, we need to rewind a little bit here. Yeah. Ford and Trudeau governments, they teamed up once uh, once again and gave Ford Motor Company about $6 million to help Ford shift to building electric vehicles in their Oakville plant in Ontario. Last year, the two governments got together again to give Stellantis another billion dollars. Now, roughly half that came from the government of Ontario and half that from Ottawa. Again, this money went towards electric vehicle production upgrades for plants in Windsor, Ontario and Brampton, Ontario. But look, Chris, both Stellantis and Ford, they're Fortune 500 companies that don't need taxpayer help. Ford's gross profit last year in 2022 was more than $23 billion. Stellantis was almost $18 billion. So instead of giving these massively profitable companies, because these are massively mm -hmm. profitable companies, uh, handouts, we should be worrying about lowering the burden for taxpayers who we've heard from all across this country can't afford to be paying these increased tax bills that their provincial and federal governments are hitting them with. Man, this is just, this piles up, folks. When we hand out this kind of money to corporations, uh, these multi-billion dollar corporations with multi-billion dollar deals, it all adds up. Now, uh, Franco Terrazano, our federal director, uh, did a huge pre-budget submission. What that means in normal people talk is that he wrote a massive report and gave it to the federal government before they delivered their budget. And he detailed uh, some situations where they were handing out corporate welfare that was outside of the electric uh, car battery industry. Can you go through some of those? Yeah. Uh, so it turns out government enjoys subsidizing just about every sector with hmm. taxpayer handouts. So just at the federal level, this doesn't include all the provinces. We identified thirty eight point three billion with a B dollars of corporate welfare since 2017. Money went to airlines, it went to car companies, it went to the energy sector, it went to aerospace company and everywhere. I mean, Trudeau was handing out corporate welfare like it was candy on Halloween. 
Um, you know, let's just look at the airlines here because that's yeah. a great example of how these things can stack up over time. Uh, the feds gave Air Canada, Air Transit, and Porter Airlines a combined $6.2 billion in 2021 alone. So three airlines, one year, $6.2 billion. The government also gives away a lot of corporate welfare in the form of tax credits. Mm. This year, Ottawa's handing out about $3 billion in corporate tax credits. So billions and billions and billions of dollars a year are going out the door to corporations. It's our money. It's taxpayer money. And it's being handed out to wealthy international corporations left, right, and center with no accountability from our politicians up in Ottawa. And unfortunately, uh, this isn't new. <laughs> this is handing out uh, billions of dollars in taxpayers' money and corporate welfare isn't new. Uh, we've seen this sort of play before. Yeah, no, you're right. Sadly, governments in Canada have been doing this for years. Back in March of this year, Fraser Institute, a big think tank, well-respected, they released a study showing that collectively the feds and all the other provincial governments, so this is all the governments in Canada, gave away $352 billion in corporate welfare payments between 2007 and and 2019. So that's roughly three times uh, the debt of British Columbia that all levels of government have just been handing out to corporations. Wow. They could pay down the debt of British Columbia three times for the amount of money that they've handed out to these corporations. Wow. Now, the Fraser Institute worked out uh, how much money was given out per taxpayer, which is a really interesting angle. I think mm. we should about over this 13 year period between 2008 and 2019. And there's a big range depending on what province you're in. Over in Saskatchewan, that was the worst of the bunch. Taxpayers in Saskatchewan, every single taxpayer in that uh, nine year, 13 year period mm -hmm. paid about $18,785 in corporate welfare. On the other end of the spectrum, New Brunswick, about $6,050 a year uh, in New Brunswick on corporate welfare. So the top three governments handing out cash to corporations were the feds, Quebec, and Ontario. No surprise there. No. Uh, not at all. Each of those governments handed out between $72 billion and $77 billion in that same 13-year period. And just to show you what that money could have done instead, the Fraser Institute calculated that Quebec and Manitoba could have both eliminated corporate taxes altogether if they just stopped doling out corporate welfare payments. Wow. See, folks, uh, there is a solution to this. And if uh, governments really want to, quote unquote, help corporations do business in their regional in their regions uh what they need to do is lower the corporate tax rate lower their business tax rates don't just hand out taxpayers money to these mega companies carson thank you so much for bringing all this uh, to our attention thanks so much chris